let me give you a differential diagnosis for acute cough and you have to work out or you have to read in detail about these disease entities so you can easily rule out each of them. A child presented with acute cough. Top differential diagnosis, one is pneumonia, but we should consider all these other differentials like foreign body aspiration. You have to ask the child whether he had any choking episodes. It's very suggestive history for foreign body aspiration. Then we have to investigate him with chest x-ray. We may get, we may directly see that foreign body on the chest x-ray. The other thing is reactive airway disease. Usually it is associated with diffuse wheeze in addition to the cough. And other atopy can be seen. And the fourth one is bronchiolitis. The same is true, especially for on children. And talkers on children less than two years. You don't expect bronchiolitis after that age. And usually they will have diffuse wheeze and they will have and sometimes may have toxic features. The other thing is croup is also another common presentation of uh, acute commonly presented with acute cough, but the typical presentation is strider and other additional features should be assessed. Exacerbation of asthma, heart failure, so all these things should be ruled out. Bacterial tracheitis, tracheosophageal fistula or sometimes drug induced especially children taking AC inhibitors especially a child with heart failure hypertension this group of drugs might be prescribed and they may cause dry cough because of the release of this what we call it bradykinin and uh, common cold is also a common cause of acute cough it's self-limiting by reassuring the family we may send them home because in common cold, they will not have the toxic symptoms or systemic manifestations like fever, rhinitis, and sometimes sinusitis. All these conditions may result in acute cough. So, we considering all these differential diagnoses, we have to uh, we have to we have to diagnose pneumonia considering all these differential diagnoses.